Hi all, in this video, I am going to do Poisson regression or count regression using Julia and in this video, I am going to show how we can use the UK football data or uh, English Premier League data because we have seen in the previous uh, videos that English Premier League data, the home team scored a number of goals and if we want to model number of goal, it will be either through a Poisson regression or negative binomial regression. So what I am going to do in this video, I am going to show you how to do Poisson regression using Julia. Okay. So first in my Jupyter, I am going to start a Jupyter notebook. Uh, so first I will write, give a title to my notebook. Uh, say Poisson regression using Julia okay and then the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to call CSV data frames uh, data frames and uh, CR raw these three for sure let me run this now in my the same folder where you are starting your Jupyter notebook I have downloaded 2021 data and 21-22 data so I'm going to use 2021 data okay so what I will do data frame CSV dot file quote unquote I just need the name so file name you keep the file name in the same folder so that will be helpful okay so this gives me the data set that I'm looking for so there are 380 gaming are being played okay and there are 106 columns are there so there's lots of columns are there okay and now my what I'm going to do I want to model a uh, number of goals scored by so if I just go back there and you know if I note.txt click on that so I want to full time home team goal that is FTHG this is what I want to model okay so what I want to model is uh, let us the model is uh, okay first is let me just at least write down few things FTHG these are the basic definitions let me just uh, copy it down okay these are the variable definition okay variable variable definition definition okay and then I will just copy few more things uh, then there's all these informations I am going to okay and some of the baiting statistics as well okay oopsie uh. all right so let me just stop here so these are the so now ftag is the one of the variable here ftag this is the home uh, home team score basically full time how many goals scored by the home team so this is what the what we want to model and we want to model as a function of what uh, we want to model it as a function of maybe uh, you know 
home team how many shots were taken by the home team and like hs and how many shots were taken by away team okay and then how many uh, home team shots on target okay and then away team shots on target then uh, home team uh, corners how many corners were taken by home team away team corners and then uh, maybe bet 365 the score by 365 and away teams score all these things we want to model this is the model that we want to model but the home team is so model this is my model this is the model that we want to fit okay so this is so effectively this will be like home point so point so uh um the points so lambda and then log of lambda bda lambda equals to beta not plus beta 1 hs so this way uh, beta 2 beta 3 beta 4 beta 5 beta 6 beta 7 and beta 8 so this is pretty much what we have okay so let me not take dollar here so maybe i'll just put it like this i'll put it like this let me run it okay uh, yeah so maybe i'll just put yeah if i just do this probably this is you will make okay so maybe i'll just put begin equation array e q n a r r a y and end e q n a r r a y and it will work yeah so this is what the more this is what the model i want to fit and so for that i'm going to call c r rao c r rao and the first model that we are going to fit is uh, fit okay at the rate formula okay and first is fthg fthg and then hs plus as plus hst plus ast plus hc plus ac plus uh, b365 oopsie 365 h plus b365 a now after that i have to give the name of the data set df train okay and then i have to give uh, i have to say the class of the 
thing but x so maybe i'll just cro package i'll just go to the devil doc package uh so api reference of my sorry patient what i will do is what i have to do yeah so Poisson regression that is what we have to do here so Poisson regression so if I just if you write POI and then tab it will fill it up for itself now if you just do this this will fill a set fit a maximum likelihood estimate okay maximum likelihood estimate or MLE estimates okay let me just put it up there yeah and now let me just run this uh, why it is not formula okay so I have to maybe I have to call uh, stat models yeah stat models I need yeah so yeah I think now it is fine okay so if I look into it HST home number of short on target by home team is has a going to have a very strong effect positive effect obviously more short you have on the target the chance of having scored is high and then uh, this is another home team now short and has an effect and then this is also home team number of goal home, number of corner by home team and what is the bet 365's uh, odds for the away team that also an playing important role and you can see that this coefficient has a positive effect all right interesting phenomena that we are getting now suppose we want to predict uh, suppose we want to fit a bayesian regression model bayesian points of regression model with say reach prior bayesian points so let me just Bayesian Poisson regression with ridge prior R I D G ridge prior so if I just run this so the if you just go there all I have to do is essentially just copy this thing and obviously now I want to change the num name uh, maybe I will say reach and after the Poisson regression I would say prior uh, reach and if you just prior underscore R and then if you just tap it will take the rest of the thing okay so you don't have to really worry about that let me just put it here so that uh, you know it is kind of aligned and you can see the entire model so let me just run it so if you look into the by default it always simulate thousand samples and if you look into the r hat you see the r hats are all close to one so it took 500 burning and after that it simulated 1000 samples after burning it is very fast because it uses hamiltonian monte carlo method and these are the coefficients estimates uh, so here you have one two three four five six seven eight eight coefficients and intercept and now here also so total nine so you can see there are nine coefficients including first one is the intercept 
and lambda is the scale parameter that is required okay so intercept is negative 0.35 in mle and we are getting slightly off here negative 06 others are like negative 03 for hs negative uh, 03 negative 02 for yeah so the other values that looks like 0 0.238 for hst which is two three fourth coefficient 0 0.22 yeah so the coefficients looks like similar to close to uh, to that of mle but it's very simple if you want to see the detail of the reach prior i think you can go to the guide api references of okay, general interface uh, general interface and then prior distribution so the first thing you can say prior gauss and then here is the reach prior and all the definition of the reach prior the way it is written we have taken an appropriate distribution it means Poisson then you just take the Poisson and automatically it will do the rest of the thing so this is the reach prior the way it is defined in this in CR row next we can try Laplace priors on the beta Laplace distribution are being uh, imp imposed and inverse gamma prior is being imposed on the Poisson regression so if I want Poisson regression with uh, Poisson regression with uh, Laplace prior you can uh, plot very easily using CR Rao so Laplace prior all you have to do Laplace prior uh, oopsie sorry I have to do a markdown okay now it is fine so Bayesian regression with Laplace prior so all you have to do is just copy this guy uh, so now on the coefficient we are applying Laplace prior Laplace prior distribution on the coefficient this is typically uh, so you just change the name of the prior plus and it should and run and Sierra will understand automatically that okay this is a Laplace prior that the user want to apply and boom it runs and it gives you the all the estimates so by default it will simulate thousand samples after 500 burning so from 501 to 1500 iteration is being reported r hat are all close to one so this is a good news that means the chain has converged and you can see similar kind of things behavior you can see okay so this second coefficient first hs is effective this is strong effective the fourth coefficient fourth coefficient was my one two three four. hst hst is strongly have strong effect and but the last one here uh, it's saying that the odds does not have any effect the odds does not have any effect the sixth one is the, I think it was corner I think it was corner uh, one two three four five six yeah corner does have had an effect yeah so so Laplace is saying that in the MLE we got three in MLE method we it, we got three uh, at a five percent level we can say home uh, short number of shot taken number of shot on target and the bet 365 is caught for away team but uh, it was was surprising that I, I would not expect that it will away teams odds will have now effect on number of goals scored and uh, Bayesian methods is actually rejecting this method I mean saying though reach prior says yes it did indeed but uh, Laplace prior is saying no no we are not so so this is important that you know you apply different kind of models and then you compare the results and then next we can try Kochi prior 
okay so again very simple fitting kochi prayer first we will give a name uh, first we will uh, put it as a markdown and then so instead of laplace we see first kochi prayer and then what we are going to do is simply plot just copy this guy uh, Kochi prior and instead of Laplace we just plate C and then tab it will fill it up by itself and then run so while okay it just it was very fast it's in, it was very fast so and it is indeed all converged as usual the R hat is all close to 1 uh so the this one has a effect strong effect this one has a strong effect the entire 95 percent confidence mode does not include zero and the last one also has a strong effect this does not include zero sixth one the corner also has an effect so corner number of shots number of shots on target number of shots number of shots on target number of corners these are going to have an effect the model is again and again saying and the odds of the away team by bet 365 seems like having an effect not maybe strong or something but it seems like it does have an effect so what is kochi prior let us see the kochi prior in the everything of the model is same but uh, on the beta and alpha on the coefficient we put kochi prior with a scale parameter have a half kochi distribution so this is very robust prior and next what we will try we will try t distributed prior okay so here we are going to scaled t distribution distributed prior on the beta and alpha and on the scale we implemented inverse gamma uh, prior so very variety of prior options we have in the CRO. So what we are going to do next is T distributed prior. We are going to implement the T distributed prior. Okay. Uh, T distributed okay just you write T and press tab and that should be fine uh, it's very fast looks like so, so. Sometimes it's a bit slow because the T distributed might take a little bit time. Okay, let us see. Uh, you see, uh, T distributed prior does not did not able to converge. You can see the R hat uh, R two near two. So that means definitely these um, the the more the algorithm quantum Monte Carlo did not converge by the thousand uh, samples. We need to increase the number of samples. So and you saw it is slow. So I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to uh, again increase the samples and run it because uh, it will just take time. It will, all you have to do just increase the sample. I can show you all you have to do just probably uh, you just pet 0.95 and then you have to instead of 1000 you have to just set 10,000 and run it. 
but i'm not going to do that because it will just take longer time so you try it yourself but i'm going to try another prayer which is very popular prayer called horseshoe prayer okay so let me try horseshoe prayer and horseshoe prayer is let me show you how the horseshoe prayer works so this is the why follow proper distributed typically in natural exponential family in the our case it will be poisson with mu i and uh, so mu i will be alpha plus uh, xi transpose beta and on the beta and alpha there will be a conditional normal distribution and on the scale parameters of the conditional normal distributions we will have half uh, a uh, half cauchy distribution so it's interesting it, uh, very it's a scale mixture distribution and it's very nice it, it's very popular in the bayesian literature it has lot of good properties lot of good uh, horseshoe prior okay so let me just run it oh i have to call it markdown and then it will run yeah and then now what i will do i will just copy this so we what we found the t distributed prior will always require a bit of a more samples and then so h is i will just say and so i don't need i will just use the default and h and then horseshoe will work uh, let me just run now okay it was reasonably okay let me see if it was converged yes you see it did converge it did converge and the way it has been horseshoe prior works is for each beta i there will be a local skill uh, distributed so now you can see that uh, so this is so that means for each beta 1 there will be a lambda 1 beta 2 there will be lambda 2 and beta 9 there will be a lambda 9 and then these are the local shrinkage parameter and tau is the global shrinkage parameter so all these parameters uh, makes interesting local shrinkage and global shrinkage makes the uh, horseshoe prior very very attractive to the bayesian uh, community and uh, what happens is uh, what we see let's this is the intercept then next is the hs uh, the uh, home team shot on target we see this is neg uh, fully negative all the entire 95% confidence interval then this is number of shots on target is completely positive and this is number of corners uh, completely negative if you get too many corners your number of goals score will be less somehow corner has to do with the you know negative uh, neg something to do with the negative and uh, what we are seeing that away teams and uh, the bet 365 does not have the, the odds does not have an effect by horseshoe prior so what we are seeing according to according to the model of so we can safely say hs which is home teams uh, uh home team shot hst home team shots on target hc hc that number of corners by home team these are the three other sort of uh, sure for sure uh, kind of uh, model so we can what we will try we will try a slightly smaller model let us try a, a smaller model and home just home team shot on target home team corner number of okay so that's how so now we have a shorter model and let us run this so it will be faster it was faster yeah so we can see that each of these parameters were quite uh, fast and now what i'm going to do we are going to just say predict 
if I just say predict, uh, you can just do use these models to predict also and then uh, you give the model and give the data set name. So the data set name is uh, here I'm, I'm using train, you can have a taste data also. So if you just give us a predict, predict F T H G, right? F T H G. Uh, and if you can see, so you can see that they are giving you the prediction also. So this is uh, one of the advantage of CRRAW. You don't have to, I mean, you can fit any models and you can get the prediction also right away using just call the predict functions and it will be uh, done. So this is uh, this is uh, how you implement Poisson regression using uh, you know Bayesian prior. So Poisson regression, both likelihood and the methods and the Bayesian implementation of the Poisson regression with Julia. So let me just write likelihood likelihood and Bayesian Poisson regression using Julia. The number of implementation that we have done likelihood, maximum likelihood, maximum likelihood method. So actually we use uh, Julia and CRRAW. Okay. Uh, and then we used uh, reach prior Bayesian reach prior, uh, then we used uh, Laplace prior, Laplace prior, then we used uh, Cauchy prior, Cauchy prior, then we used T distributed prior, but it was not very successful, it did not converge nicely. We had to run more samples, T distributed prior, and finally. Uh, horseshoe prior horseshoe prior so all these we implemented very nicely and uh, using CR Rao in Julia so I hope you enjoyed this video and we will continue this in the next video this uh, next video we will be doing negative binomial regression thank you very much